Namaste beautiful yogis and welcome to day 23 rise and shine 30 day morning yoga journey. Today I've got for you a beautiful grounding practice. Today it's a good day to ground ourselves. Ready? Let's begin. As always, if you know that you need a yoga block for your practice, make sure you have one near you. Let's begin in a cross-legged seated position. Sit nice and tall, lengthen out of your crown, relax your shoulders and place your hands on top of your knees, close your eyes. Repeat with me. Today, I take time to ground myself. Take a breath in, open mouth, exhale, side out. I take time to ground myself. Breathe in and out. Keep repeating this mantra to yourself. I take time to ground myself. As you igniting your ujjayi breath, breathing in and out through your nose, Softening the entire body, soften your mind, soften your breath. Feel the earth beneath you, knowing that you are always supported. And if you fall, the earth is going to catch you. I take time to ground myself. Feel the energy rising from the earth all the way skyward through the crown of your head, washing your body with this beautiful earthy energy, recharging each and every single cell in your body. I take time to ground myself. Inhale. Exhale, open your eyes, inhale, cast the heart forward, drop the head back, seated cow pose. Exhale, lean back, chin to your chest, round the upper back, seated cat pose. Let's move through these two movements. Inhale, open the heart, exhale, roll back, contract. Inhale, open, exhale, roll back. Inhale, open, roll the shoulder, heads backward. Exhale, chin to your chest, contract your core. Inhale, open, smile with your collarbones. Exhale, contract. One more, inhale. Exhale. Make your way back to center. Inhale, sweep the arms up to the sky, connect your palms, look skyward. Exhale, plug the hands to the heartbeat. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, put the right hand down, lean to the right, stretching the left side of the body. Keep the left sitting bone on your mat, lengthen out of the waist and go as deep as your body allows you. Maybe drop down to your right forearm, maybe it's just too late. Keep feeling the earth beneath you. Inhale, find more length. Exhale, reach through the fingers. Inhale, lift up, put hands up to the sky. Exhale, switch left hand down to the mat, right arm across your face. Keeping the right sitting bone grounded to the earth. Inhale, lengthen. Maybe go deeper as you're coming to your left forearm. Make sure that your right sitting bone pressing firmly into your mat. Inhale, find more length. Exhale, go deeper. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, twist right hand, left knee, lengthen out of your crown. Gaze over your left shoulder and find your twist. On the inhale, try to find more length. 
On the exhale, a deeper twist. Inhale, center. Exhale, switch. Inhale, lengthen up. Exhale, twist. Inhale, reach the arms up. One more twist on each side. Exhale, twist to the left. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, twist to the right. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, plug the hands to your heart. Ground your hands, come up into a kneeling position. Keep your hips on top of your knees. Poppy pose, melting our heart down to the earth. Chin to your chest or your forehead to the mat. I'm sorry, chin, chin to your mat or your forehead. Relax your shoulders and allow your heart to melt and ground down to the earth. Today I ground myself. Feel the earth with your palms, with your knees, feet, shin bones, knowing that you are supported, always supported. Turn inward, ignite your breath, and just relax. Next inhale, lift the gaze, press to the inner hands, lift yourself up, make your way back into tabletop, stay on your knees. Two fist distance in between your knees coming into camel pose. For the first one, tuck your toes under, hands to your lower back. Squeeze the elbows toward each other. Inhale, lift up through the heart. Send the gaze skyward. And then begin to drop the head back behind you as your eyes trying to find the earth. Notice how you feel. If you feel you can bring the hands to your heels, lower the hands down to your heels. Open your heart, breathe, one more breath, hands back to your lower back, first lower your sitting bones down to the heels and then lift your gaze, bring it in front of you, hands on top of your thighs, stretch your feet, take a breath in, exhale, let go of any tightness in your chest area. One more camel pose. Make your way back into kneeling position. Maybe this time untuck your toes. So see if the body inviting you to go deeper. If not, stay as you are. Lift your heart, drop the gaze back, squeeze the elbows toward each other. And then see if you can bring the hands down to your heels. Opening our throat, our heart. Just focus on your breath. Full breath in. Full breath out. Hands to your lower back. Lower the sitting bones to the heels. And then bring the gaze in front of you. Hands on top of your thighs. Breathe in. Exhale, let go. <sighs> Ground your hands. Tuck your toes under. Find downward facing dog. Walk your dog, feel the earth with your palms, with your feet. Find any movement in your downward facing dog. Lots of length through your spine. Draw your navel in and up, activate your core. Inhale, sweep the right heel up high, single leg down dog. Exhale, step the right foot in between your hands, drop your left knee down. Inhale, sweep both of the arms up into crescent moon. Exhale, sink your hips down and forward. Beautiful, bring your left fingers down to the mat or use a yoga block. Right arm comes across your ear line. Stretch out of the waist, inhale, breathe into your side body, exhale, go deeper. Inhale, both arms up. Exhale, right fingers down, left arm across your face. Take a breath in and out. Inhale, both arms up. Exhale, half splits, fingers down to the mat. Send the hips to the back of your mat. Flex the right foot towards your face. 
Try your navel in and up, lengthen through the spine. Walk the hands forward and fold. Breathe to the back of your leg. Take a breath in and out. Rebend into the right knee. Send the hips forward and down. Kick the left heel to your bum ground. Your left hand inhale, sweep the right arm up, open through the heart. Reach the right arm back behind you, catch your left foot. Keep sinking the hips forward and then squeeze that left heel to your bum. Stretching our quad. Breathe into your quad. Inhale, create space. Exhale, move into that space. Let go, ground both of your hands. Tuck your left toes under, lift your knee up, step back into plank pose. Move through vinyasa, lower halfway or all the way. Chaturanga, up dog or cobra. Inhale, downward facing dog. Exhale, inhale, lift heel up high, single leg, down dog. Exhale, step the foot in between your hands. Drop the right knee down. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, sink your hips nice and low. Relax the shoulders. Breathe in. Right fingers down to the earth. And as you breathe out, reach that left arm across your ear line. Keep sinking your hips nice and deep. Inhale, both arms up. Exhale, take it to the other side. Lengthen out of your waist. Hips square to the front. Inhale. Exhale, inhale, both arms up. Exhale, hands to heart. And we're going to take it into half split. Send the hips to the back. Flex that left foot towards your face. Walk the hands forward. Lengthen. Suck that belly in and up. And then fold. Breathe. One more breath here. Rebend into that left knee. Ground your right hand down. Kick the right heel to your bum. Inhale, sweep your left arm up. Reach the hand back behind you. Catch your foot and then squeeze the heel to your bum as you're sinking your hips forward. Breathe into your sensation, feeling the earth beneath you. Today, I take time to ground myself. Ground, inhale. Exhale. Let go, ground both of the hands, step the left foot to the back of your mat. Take your vinyasa, lower halfway or all the way, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog, shine your heart. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a full breath in and out. Inhale, look up. Exhale, walk or step your feet in between your hands. Inhale, halfway, find length through your spine. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, root to rise, mountain pose. Reach the arms up. Exhale, plug the hands to your heart. Inhale, mountain pose, sweep the arms up. Exhale, fold forward, bow over your legs. Inhale, halfway, find length. Exhale, take it through vinyasa, high to low plank, chaturanga. Inhale, push the earth away, straighten the arms, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, look up. Exhale, step or hop the feet in between your hands. Lengthen, inhale. Fold, exhale. Inhale, mountain pose, rise up. Exhale, hands to your heart. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lengthen. Exhale, step or hop back. Chaturanga, upward facing, inhale, downward facing, exhale. Today I take time to ground myself. 
Inhale, sweep the right heel up high, single leg down dog. Exhale, step the foot in between your hands. Ground your feet, engage your core. Inhale, rise up, high crescent lunge. Exhale, use your legs to find dip. Elevate that left heel, push the heel to the back of your mat and activate your left quad. Reach the arms back behind you, option one. You can grab the opposite elbows or find reverse namaste, hands to prayer and flip the outer edge of your palms in between the shoulder blades. Sink nice and deep, roll both of your shoulder heads backward, lift through your heart, inhale. And as you exhale, gracefully hinge the weight forward as you begin to transition into warrior three. Squeezing the base of your palms, open those elbows, take a breath in, exhale both feet to touch, keep your reverse prayer, inhale chair pose, bend your knees, sink nice and low, roll the shoulder heads back, go deeper, then slide your hands to the lower back, interlock open fingers, squeeze the shoulder blades, lift through your heart, take a breath in, and then fold forward as you breathe out. Stretch the shoulders. Let go of your grip. Inhale, roll up to standing mountain pose. Reach your arms up. Exhale, draw the left knee to the chest. Standing balance. Let's find a tree pose. Left foot to your inner thigh, calf or toes resting on your mat. Hands to prayer. Find your drishti. Slow down your breath. And now like a tree, allowing your roots to go deep into the earth and grow tall, strong and powerful. Inhale, reach the arms up, open up your branches. Exhale, hands to heart. One more, inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, hands to your heart. Now twist to the left. So open that left knee to the left. There you go. You got this. Transitioning to half moon pose. Begin to lower your right fingers down, left arm up, and extend that left leg all the way back behind you. Reach up through the left fingers, take a breath in. And as you exhale, landing into warrior two. Sit nice and deep, strong arms, square your hips and chest to the wide side of your mat. Inhale, exhale, reverse warrior, inhale, press that right knee forward, lean back, breathe into your side body. And as you exhale, cartwheel the hands down, ground your left hand down, lift your right arm up. Take it into easy twist as you're opening your chest to the right. Roll to the outer edge of your left foot. Step your right leg on top, side plank. Stay here or bring the right hand back behind you. Lift your right leg up and we're gonna find some crunches. Knee with elbow, crunch your side body. Inhale, extend. You can also drop to your bottom knee. Exhale, crunch. Inhale, extend and crunch. For five, four, three, two, and one. Back into full expression of side plank. Inhale, exhale, take your flow. Vinyasa, Chaturanga. Up dog. Inhale, down dog. Exhale, cleansing in breath and let it out. Inhale, sweep your left heel up high, single leg down dog. Step the foot in between your hands, low lunge. Root to rise, inhale, high crescent. Exhale, push the right heel to the back, sink low, relax your shoulders. Stay here. Reach the arms behind you. Again, option one, grab the opposite elbows. Option two, reverse, namaste. So bring 
the outer edges of your palms in between the shoulder blades as you roll and your shoulder heads back and widening across your collarbones. Stay low in your lunge. Take a breath in. Warrior three as you breathe out gracefully. Hinge forward. Float the right heel back. Pause. Reconnect with your breath. And ground down through that left foot. Inhale. Squeezing the base of your palms. Exhale. Take a breath in. Right foot next to the right as you breathe out. Sink low into chair pose. Bend your knees. Weight into your heels. Keep squeezing your hands towards each other. Full breath in and out. Get slide hands down your back. Bring the opposite pinky on top. Puff up your heart. Inhale, fold forward. Exhale. Take a moment here. A little bit sway side to side. Let go of any tension. Breathe in and out. Let go of your grip, roll up to standing mountain pose. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, right knee to chest. Standing balance. Make your way into tree pose. Find your powerful, strong tree. Plug the hands to the heart. Soften. Relax. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, bring the hands to heart. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, hands to your heart. Keep your hands in prayer. Begin to twist to the right. Twist, twist. Bringing that right knee all the way to the back of your mat. Then gracefully bring the left fingers down, right arm up, and then open up into half moon pose. Keep rooting down through that standing foot. Inhale. Exhale, landing to warrior two. Strong legs, strong arms, strong core. Inhale, reverse your warrior, left arm across your face. And as you exhale, cartwheel the hands down, ground your right hand, lift your left arm up. Come on the ball of the right foot. Open the heart. Begin to pivot to the outer edge of that right foot and make your way into Vashistasana side plank. Stay here and hold or drop to the bottom knee or left hand behind your head. You're gonna hover that left foot and we're gonna crunch. Knee with elbow, crunch your side body and open. Crunch and open for five, four, three, two, and one. Full expression of side plank. Inhale, exhale, take it through a vinyasa or halfway. Up dog, inhale, and then down dog. As you exhale, take your breath in, let it out. You're gonna feel the earth beneath you. Take all that energy from the ground, rising up inside your body, energizing every single cell. Then drop to the knees, one more camel pose. Try to go a little bit deeper, hands to the lower back. Lift your gaze, lift your heart. Then drop the head back behind you, hips beyond your knees. Cut your heels, just relax and breathe. Two more breaths. Hands to your lower back, lower the sitting bones down to the heels. Bring the gaze in front of you, hands to your thighs. Inhale, exhale, open mouth. Make your way into child's pose. 
arms in front of you, stretching our lower back. Just soften. I take time to ground myself. Begin to seal that intention. And I'm inviting you to take it with you off the mat into your day today. So practice grounding yourself. Inhale, lift your gaze, roll up to sit it. Exhale, relax your shoulders. Inhale, sweep the arms up high, gathering all that beautiful energy around us. Exhale, bring this energy right into the heart. Take a moment to seal your practice with a few words of gratitude for whatever you are grateful for today. Take a breath in and exhale, release your gratitude to the universe. Open your eyes and good job, my friends. Day 23 done. I am so proud of you. Thank you so much for tuning in and practicing with me today. Drop me a comment down below. Let me know how are you feeling. Remember to like this video and share it with a friend or maybe five. I wish you a beautiful, happy grounding day. From my heart to yours, I'll see you tomorrow. Namaste. Before you go, click here down below to be notified of every video I release during these 30 days and to receive absolutely free daily healthy breakfast recipes to complete your rise and shine morning routine. Also click on this video right here to do a five minute guided meditation to enhance your self-awareness and lift your spirit. Namaste and I'll see you tomorrow.